my little ones. Today I have a poem written a long time ago about a Christmas story. The house we have behind you is going to be part of our story. So let's look to see what's inside. You can see it's ready for Christmas. You ready? Our story is, it was the night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung, but the chimney would care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children had nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up a sash. The moon on the breast of the new falling snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves said before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, of course, as they flew, with a slave full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawning of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mo uh, mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I left when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he left like a bowl full of jelly. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. Look at all the stockings all those toys. Putting his finger aside on his nose and giving a nod of the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a tissel. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. My little ones, I hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas to you and your families. And families, thank you for your support. I hope um, in 20, 2022, nothing but blessings for all. And thank you for your support again. I will be making more videos. Hopefully you'll keep on watching for all the little ones. And Merry Christmas. Big thank you and a blessed 2022. Thank you.
Bye.